Problem 101 for students. Walkthrough and tips for students. Hi, I am Ian Lambel Cruz from Interactive Learning Center Diliman or ILC Diliman. I am here to guide students like you, Isko Iska, on how to access and use the university virtual learning environment. The University Virtual Learning Environment, or UVLE, is an online learning management system available in UP Diliman. It allows teachers to share learning resources and conduct online activities like assignments, quizzes, video conferencing, and many more. UVLE can be accessed through your desktops or laptops via internet browser. It is also mobile responsive, which means you can comfortably access your online classrooms using your smartphone or tablets. In addition, there are two mobile applications that can be used to access Ouvle. We have the Moodle mobile application, which is available for both Android and iOS users. And recently, IELTS Deliman has developed the Ouvle mobile app for Android users. The iOS version will soon be available. To access Ouvle using a browser, go to uvle.upt.edu.ph Then, click Log In and enter your Dilnet username and password. But wait! If you're a freshman student, just like Isko Matalino, or you simply have forgotten your Dilnet account like Iska Matapang, then you have to email UP Computer Center at helpdesk at upd.edu.ph and inquire how to get your Dilnet account. Once you have your Dilnet account, you can now access Uble. If you're a first-time user, you will be asked to update your profile. We recommend that you use your UP mail account as your primary email address. The primary email address receives important notifications like reminders of assignment deadlines, posts in announcements forum, new messages, and many more. If you still don't have your UP mail account, Email UP Computer Center at helpdesk at upd.edu.ph. After editing your profile, first time users will also be asked to agree with the acceptable use policy of Uble. Once done, you will be directed to the Uble homepage. In the Ouvle homepage, we have the following features. Let's start at the upper left corner of the screen. My Courses button. Click this to access your online classes or online classrooms. To the right, you will see a bell icon for notifications and a speech bubble icon for messaging. Click the speech bubble icon to read new messages or to chat or PM other users of Ouvle. To PM someone, click new message. Then click Contacts, type and search the name of the user, click the user, and start exchanging messages. Let's go back to the homepage. To go back to the homepage, simply click the Ovlet logo. Next, we have Quick Links. This gives you access to the Ouvlet widgets, 
a search feature, and a link back to the homepage. Besides quick links is your full name. When you hover your mouse on your full name, you will see Guide me on this page, My profile, My grades, Help, which is a link to ILC Deliman Help Desk, Preferences, and Logout. If you want to edit your profile, notification settings, message settings, login options, or any other settings, then you have to go to Preferences. For example, let's link your Ouvle account to your UP Mail account. Linking will allow you to log in using your UP Mail account. We strongly recommend users to link their UP Mail account to their Ouvle account. Simply click Preferences. Under Other Preferences and User Account Others, click Link Logins. Then, click Link a New Account UP Mail Login. Finally, log in to your UP Mail account and complete the linking process. After completing these steps, you may log in to Ouvle using your UP Mail account. If you have questions about the other tools within the homepage or other preferences, do not hesitate to contact ILC Diliman through its help desk. Just click help or visit helpdesk.ilc.upd.edu.ph. At this point, let's go back to our homepage. This time, Let's explore an online classroom or a course page. Click My Courses. Then click the name of the course. Typically, a course page has three columns. In the leftmost column, you will see the Activities block. The Activities block provides a summary of resources and activities available within the course page. If you click Resources, you will see an option to download all files or multiple files at once. Going back to the course page, below the Activities block is the Search a Forum block. Use this to easily find a relevant or important discussion thread. In the rightmost column, you will see latest announcements, upcoming events, and recent activity. In the middle, you will see the announcements forum. This is where the teacher will post announcements. By default, students will receive email notifications of announcements. Below it, you will see a group of resources or activities or course modules. To access a file or a video, simply click the file resource. Similarly, to access an activity, simply click the name of the activity. Isko and Iska always remember the following. When submitting an assignment or when uploading files for any activity, make sure that your file was uploaded successfully before leaving the page. For example, when you submit an assignment, simply drag and drop the file to the upload box, wait until it uploads successfully. Then, don't forget to click Save Changes. Take note, the file size limit per upload is 50 MB. If your files are more than 50 MB, inform your teacher immediately. Next, depending on how the teacher created the forum, students may be allowed to subscribe or unsubscribe to topic discussions. By clicking the dot or envelope icon, you will see these icons when you click the forum activity. 
when you subscribe to a discussion topic, you will receive an email notification every time someone replies to the thread. That ends our walkthrough of Ovlet. There are many other resources and exciting activities in Ovlet. All of them are designed to support, deliver, or assess learning in a virtual learning environment. If you have questions or clarifications, open a ticket at ILC Deliman Help Desk. Visit helpdesk.ilc.upd.edu.ph. Upgrade to interactive.